If you want flawless laser engravings every time, then mastering the Excel F1 software is key. In today's video, I'll walk you through different settings for a variety of materials, how to fine tune your speed, power, and resolution, and some tips to get crisp, clean engravings every time. Whether you're just starting out or looking to improve, this guide will take your X tool F1 skills to the next level. I'm Ashley and this is Chip Build, so let's jump in. This video is a part of my X tool F1 101 series, so make sure you're checking out the other videos in that playlist so that you can master your laser. So now we're gonna head over to X tool Creative Space so that we can learn the different settings that we're gonna need for all these materials. All right, we are here in the X tool Creative Space software here, and this is just kind of what it looks like. Over here in the corner, you can see we have our X tool F1 connected. I have named mine Lumiere. You can name it or you don't have to. But if you do not see this green dot, I'll show you how to connect it. All right, so we'll click these little lines here and you can click connect device. You can either do it with the USB like I am, the Wi-Fi or another option. So we'll just click it. And if you don't see your device there, you can hit refresh. All right, so we are all connected. So let's import an SVG file. So you're going to come over here to this little picture where it says image and you'll click that. And then we can click on our SVG and click import. So it might take a while depending on how heavy your design is. Now this is a handwritten recipe that I have traced and then we can just shrink it down or you can just type it in over here as well. Now I have my program here in inches and if you don't want it in inches, you just come over here to this drop down menu, you go to settings and then you can change our unit between millimeters and inches. So as you can see, now that we have our file imported, you can come over here and switch between the blue light and the infrared light, depending on if you have the Xtool F1. If you have the Xtool F1 light, you will not have the IR laser inside your machine. And then, so we can just come over here and change the slider for our settings, or you can type them in as well. So we have our power settings, our speed, how many passes we wanna do, and how many lines per centimeter. So basically how much kind of like detail we want. Let's start working on our actual project so we can go through each settings material by material. All right, so we are gonna start here with this lady whistle down SVG. So I just quickly whip this up in Adobe Illustrator. And if you wanna see tutorials on how to design things, uh, let me know in a comment down below. And for our first project, we are gonna be engraving on some slate. Now I have some settings that work for me that gives me a really nice white color. Keep in mind, even though I'm giving you guys settings, you still need to do your own testing because every laser is a little bit different, even if it's the same brand. So we have our coaster set in here and we need to get these two different dots to overlap. And we just do so by turning the knob and then uh, let's frame out our design to see where we are at. All right, that looks great. And if you want to change how bright or how dark your framing is, then you can just do this little slider or if you wanna change it to the outline. And so that looks good. So that's all framed up very nicely. So for this, we are going to use the IR laser with 100 power, 60 speed, one pass, and 140 lines per centimeter. So let's send this to the laser. So we'll hit process, and then over here, we'll calculate how long it will take. Since this is a bigger image, it's gonna take 14 minutes, and then we can hit start. And then I have this little button that you can get from Xtool that plugs into the back. That way I can just click the button and not have to click the knob up on the top each time. This eliminates accidentally moving your material and getting things off-centered. All right, and that is looking amazing, and it is a nice, bright, white engraving. Now, the only caveat to this is that the settings are a little bit slower, so if you're doing these in production, I would probably do some more testing to get a faster speed. All right, the next material we are gonna engrave is this leather at koozie here, and I'm actually gonna remove this base from the X tool. This is one of my favorite features about the F1 is that it has a removable base. And I'm going to put in my 3D printed koozie stretcher jig. And then this just slides on like so. And then we will again, just put this in focus by overlapping these two dots. All right, so we have our artwork here. If you read books, then you know what this is about. 
But so we are going to engrave and we are going to use the blue light. For our power, we will do 60% power. And for our speed, we will do 300. And typically I do 300 lines per centimeters, but we'll just stick with 140 for now because that is pretty good. And then I'm actually going to save this and do koozie. That way it's really easy to get the same setting. So let's frame this up. So I think it's a little bit uh, too big. Let's shrink it down just a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. So we can stop the framing. Let's check out the outline view. I think I might actually nudge it to the left after seeing the outline view. All right, now we can hit process. This is gonna take just under three minutes and then we can hit start and then we can start it. All right, and then you just pull it off and that looks fantastic. So there's no smudging and it just looks really nice. So let's put our base back in and we have this little piece of black acrylic here. And I'm actually, I don't know where my spoil board is. So I'm gonna put something underneath this. We'll just put our slate coaster underneath. And then again, we will line up these two dots. That looks great. And let's shrink this down a little bit and let's frame it out. All right, that looks great. And then now we can engrave it. All right, our engraving is IR laser with 50% power, 400 speed and 220 lines per centimeter. And our cut is the blue light, 100 power, three speed and two passes. So we hit process. It'll take just under three minutes and now we can start. A lot of the projects do use the blue light. So you need to really make sure you have a quality pair of safety laser glasses so that you're gonna keep your eyes safe. Now, because I'm making this tutorial, I do have the lid open for everything so that we can film it easier and see what's happening. But if you're doing the blue light, I really recommend that you have it closed and you have some kind of laser glasses. Your eyes are very important. So just make sure you're constantly thinking safety first. All right. And that cut out beautifully. It looks really cool. All right, we are going to engrave this black metal business card. This thing looks super cool. So let's place it in here. I just put this little stopper on our base plate here so I can get it nice and lined up. And then we can make sure it's in focus. And for our settings, we are gonna try the IR laser, 100 power, 385 speed. 300 lines per centimeter. So let's hit process. It's gonna take us about two minutes. We can hit start and then we can hit the button. And that looks so good. So I definitely could have pushed it up a little bit more, but it honestly looks pretty cool. So I am going to fix that. One really nice thing about the x F1 is that they have a really fantastic framing option. So I can just add something in that little dead space and it will look cool. Let's copy it. All right, let's frame that out and see what it's gonna look like. All right, that looks great. So I did delete the other stuff just to make it quick. This will take three seconds. Let's frame out this little piece. This thing came out looking so much better and I love that the F-Tool F1 has this great framing option. That way you can easily fix mistakes like this. But that looks so cool. I also love that we get a really bright engraving with these settings. All right, next we are going to cut out some plywood. I cannot find my wood cutting base. So I'm just gonna put another piece of wood underneath this one. So I hopefully don't mess up my build plate even more. So let's get it focused. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we have our little measurement conversion table here. That's a magnet that we're gonna cut out. I'm gonna select this red line. We're gonna cut. We're gonna use blue light with 100 power and three speed. I think we're gonna keep it one pass for the black. So if you wanna just select a certain color, you can come down here and hit these dots. So for the black, I'm gonna do engrave blue light, 100 power, 150 speed. And for this one, we're only gonna do 140 lines per centimeter, but so that looks great. Let's frame it out, looking fantastic. And then now we can stop the framing and hit process. So this is gonna take about four minutes. Let's hit start. So this warning comes up. I have disabled it, do that at your own risk. And then so I'll hit continue anyways and click start.
All right, and this cut out beautifully. If you are cutting wood, you wanna make sure you have the right ventilation just so that you're safe. All right, next we are going to engrave this 20 ounce black powder coated tumbler. So let's get it up in the truck. So we are just gonna press this up against here and we will do, you wanna make sure it's really flat on all sides and we'll take our tool and tighten it up. That's great. And then we have this little support piece and then let's level it out. That's actually pretty perfect. But I'm gonna scooch this up because I want the engraving to be in the middle. We gotta make sure our cup is in focus. All right, so we are here in the X-Tool Creative Space and we've dropped in our artwork. Now for this cup, the diameter is 2.875 inches and I will show you how we figure that number out. So the way we find the diameter of this tumbler is we are just gonna take our tape measure and we are gonna measure across the top here. And for me, it is two inches and seven eighths wide. So I can plug that into the Xtool Creative software. In the program, we'll know how many times to rotate the tumbler as it's engraving. We wanna make sure that our processing mode is not base plate, but it's on our chuck rotary. I have the chuck style based on the head, but you might have the roller style. So what's really cool though, is Xtool has this little feature where you can look at your cup with your engraving as kind of like a preview to see what it's gonna look like. And so that looks really great. So we are gonna do this in two passes. The first pass is gonna be blue light with 80 power, 400 speed, and 300 lines per centimeter. So let's frame this out to make sure it looks good. That looks perfect to me. And so now we can hit process and now we can hit start. So oh, this honestly looks like it doesn't even need a second pass, but I'm gonna do it just in case. The key if you are doing a two pass thing is to not touch this setup whatsoever. All right, and this turned out absolutely amazing. You can see that second pass just really cleans up and you don't really have to clean it unless you absolutely want to, but this looks so good. This is one of the many reasons why I love the XO F1 because it's so versatile and can do so many things. Let's get this off the chuck. All right, next we are gonna go over the settings to use for glass. But first we have to prep this. We're gonna need to clean it and put some paint on it. That way the laser can actually see it and etch it. So I am just using some 91% alcohol and then we are just gonna clean this glass. You just wanna make sure there's no dirt or oils. That way the paint will stick to it really nicely. Now for me, this is the secret that really makes engraving glass on a diode laser worth it and with really great results. So we are gonna use this to coat our glass. And we are just going to evenly coat this so that the laser has something that it can see. So you wanna make sure it's nice and even and then that is fully coated. So I 3D printed this jig just to make it level and make my life easier. All right, and now let's make sure this is in focus. So we are here in the software again. And a couple Halloweens ago, I made these little Halloween labels for like apothecary jars. So we are just gonna do one of these. So it kind of coincides with another video I have out. Um, this is just the vampire's blood. And so for this, we are going to do a power of 100 with the blue light, 50 speed, and we're gonna do 100 lines per centimeter. So with glass, the lower the lines per centimeter, the better. I know that sounds crazy, but so let's frame this up. That looks a little bit big. So we'll do three inches. Let's center it. And that looks perfect to me. So we can stop the framing. We can hit process and we can hit start. All right, and that looks great. So let's clean it off. So we are just gonna use the isopropyl alcohol to clean off the chalk marker. And that looks so good. So I'm gonna take the engraving one step further by putting some rub and buff in it. Now with rub and buff, less is definitely more. Just wanna make sure it's all in there. And then we just wipe it off. And that looks amazing. All right, and that is how you master the X Tool F1 software and get the best engravings. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and share this. That would really help me out. Consider subscribing and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to learn next. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.